So now that we've done all that, I'm going to turn off my floor. Then I'm going to go and do another append. Sphere 3D. Select that sphere by selecting the name. Go down here to deformation and do a size. Do that a couple times. Really small sphere. There we go. Now I'm going to move this food out in front of him. So I'm going to hit W so I can move this thing. And it's already kind of selected a midpoint and straightforward. And we'll go ahead and hit X on his food ball so that we know it's symmetrical. And if we tap on here uh, and then hit move, it's going to want to move in both of those directions at once, which is what we don't want. I'm going to go, actually, I'm going to go into solo mode, which you haven't talked about yet. So if we go to transparency mode, you can see right through them. We have ghost transparency. Um, another thing you can do is hit solo. And temporarily, uh, whatever subtool is selected, even if you have 100, whatever subtool is selected, it's only going to isolate that subtool. So now with this ice subtool select isolated, you can click and then hold down shift and drag off. And even though these aren't perfectly together, it doesn't matter because I just want to hold down shift and grab this middle one and move them straight out. So if I unclick the solo button, you can bring everything back. And we'll go ahead and go out of transparent mode. So I'm taking this and I'm moving this piece of food out of his mouth out in front of him. Now let's say, here's a little cool little hint trick you can do with a subtool is if you don't have any subdivision history, which we don't because we haven't hit Control D or anything like that, you can actually drag copies out really quickly. So if I hit W, we were already in a straight line, but let's say we want to make another straight line. So we're going to click on the object, hold down Shift, and now if we hold down Control and drag, that'll drag out a copy. Now you're going to see as I drag this copy out, it wants to kind of do, it's mirrored across the x-axis and I don't have a very steady hand, so it's like, ah, I dragged out a pill. Undo that. Hold down Control and Shift, and now you will drag out a copy in a straight line. Control Shift again, drag out a copy in a straight line. If you Control Drag to unmask, and then hold down Control Shift and drag out copies, it'll drag out copies of all three unmasked objects. So that's a really quick way, quick and easy way to make duplicates of your of your object and maintain them within their own, with their own subtool. So it's a couple different ways you can do that with duplication and stuff, but that's a really quick way to kind of get duplicates of your object using transpose. So now we've got a line of these. Now let's say you want we want to have them turn the corner. So what I'm going to do is mask this last little piece of food here, and I'm going to control tap in my document to invert that mask. And then with W, I'm going to click on this object and hold down shift and go straight down. Now it's in it has X symmetry turned on. I don't want X symmetry turned on because I'm going off of X symmetry. So I'm going to hit X. And now I've only got one transposed line. So let's do that again. Uh, and actually, you can tap on any of these and hold down Shift and get a straight line. But we'll tap on this one, hold down Shift to get a straight line. And then again, Control Shift, drag off a copy. Now it's only going to drag off that last one we had unselect, that one we had unmasked. So if you have one mask and you invert that and you hold down Control Shift, it'll just drag off a copy of the unmasked one. If they're all unmasked, you hold down Control Shift, it'll drag out a copy of all of them. So just something to keep in mind uh, when you're Control dragging out. But it's fine. We can do that. So we've got those copies dragged out, and uh, we're learning transpose, and we've put them in front of, and we've oriented our character correctly. And we've put him out in front of our character, so now he has a path to go along to go and eat all of these delicious spheres. So we've kind of learned the basics of that. Now I'm going to go ahead and Alt-Tap my Pac-Man here. And I can go into solo mode if I want to, to just kind of mess around with my Pac-Man. But if you also, if you don't want to go into solo mode, and you just want to turn off some of your subtools manually, what you can do is have the one you want to work on selected and visible. And then turn off the eyeball on the other subtools. You can turn these on and off at will. And I'm going to hit and hit F to kind of frame my object here. I can rotate around him. And just to kind of as a refresher, let's go ahead and make our Pac-Man a dynamesh geometry, uh, dynamesh, I'm going to turn off project, turn off blur, and hit dynamesh. Now he's a dynamesh, cross the s-axis, x-axis, and I go ahead and smooth his mouth down. I'm going to go ahead and change it from matcap wax to matcap gray. And now you can go in here and just kind of detail him out because he's all one nice uniform object here. So a little bit of clay brush, a little bit of standard brush, and if you want to give him some teeth, uh, there's a couple different ways to do that. One way is to take his head and hit duplicate. You can duplicate this down. And if I go down here to size underneath deformation, it's uh, doing a uniform scale, X, Y, and Z, basically. Uh, if you size him down, you can kind of see him changing. So here he is bigger, here he is smaller. Um, if you turn on transparency, you can kind of size him in, like so. And, which is fine, but I also want to kind of move him out so we can have some teeth. So I'm going to hit W. And you can tap in here, and that'll kind of give you 
a direction, but I'm just going to tap and drag from the corner of his mouth out, and then dra grab this inside circle, and I'm just going to move him out so I can see a little bit of his teeth in here. You could probably get fancy, but what I'm going to do is just kind of be sloppy, and I'm just going to hold down, um, I'm going to do standard brush, I'm just going to dig in, straight back, and just really quickly give this guy some chompers. And then if you want to, you can go to the clay brush and kind of knock all this back. Um, standard brush, knock all this back here. And then if you want to detail these out, I mean, obviously your teeth don't go all the way back, so give them a little bit of breathing room here and here. And then if you want to, you can go up here to stroke, lazy mouse, and turn that on, or you can just hit L. And uh, by default, it might be a lazy radius of 1, so you might want to go in here to the lazy radius and crank it up to maybe 20. And then you can just hit hold down alt and crank your intensity up and then you can just I don't know if you want to have a tooth right down the middle of your face so maybe we'll go right down the middle here there we go that'll work I mean like I said it's sloppy but oh well so right down the middle here 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 and here yay so you got some chompers on this guy